Millions of years ago, before the human race existed, an adventure began. An adventure that ultimately leads man to confront his own destiny in another sea of exploration. Open the pod bay doors, Tom. And now, your journey is just beginning. Brought to you in living color.
ladies and gentlemen, we checked into our Super 8 Hotel here in Raton, New Mexico. And there are some issues here. First of all, whoever laid the laminate floor, they didn't do a very good job. You can bounce and it feels like you're going to fall through the floor. I would not recommend staying on the third floor of this hotel if you're traveling through Raton. The other thing, since when do you put power outlets on the front of a microwave? What are they thinking? And then finally, where's the table? There's no tables at the breakfast area. So we go get breakfast. How are we supposed to eat our breakfast? a beautiful sunset here at this uh, state park here by Raton, New Mexico. We're trying to see if we can hear uh, elk bugle, but all we're getting is crickets. Crickets. They're driving me nuts. there are 47 people. None of them can be seen. In this film we hope to show you how not to be seen. This is Mr. E. R. Bradshaw of Napier Court, Black Lion Road, London, SE 14. He cannot be seen. Now I'm going to ask him to stand up. Mr. Bradshaw, will you stand up please? This demonstrates the value of not being seen. In this picture, we cannot see Mrs. B.J. Smegma of 13, the Crescent, Belmont. Mrs. Smegma, will you stand up, please? This is Mr. Nesbitt of Harlow, Newtown. Mr. Nesbitt, will you stand up, please? Mr. Nesbitt has learned the first lesson of not being seen, not to stand up. However, he has chosen a very obvious piece of cover. Mr. E. W. Lambert of Homely, the Burroughs, Oswestry, has presented us with a poser. We do not know which bush he is behind, but we can soon find out. Yes, it was the middle one. 
Mr. and Mrs. Watson of Hull chose a very cunning way of not being seen. When we called at their house, we found that they had gone away on two weeks' holiday. However, a neighbour told us where they were. And here is the neighbour who told us where they were. And here is where he lived. And this is where he was born. And now for something completely different.